Hello and welcome back to for Plays. And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Now let's uh from this container and get some uh ammunition. There we go. Let's go talk to Bonnie again. See you later. Bye now. We can now help the ranch hands pr patrol McFarlane's range. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm guessing this just skips to what time of day it's supposed to take place, regardless. Yeah, wild horses, time passions. Okay. <laughs> Tame horses. I guess Bonnie's uh, uh, quest line is kind of a tutorial well, to how Mr. everything Marston. works. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians, tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. Yes. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? Uh, no, it symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. You're a brave man. You're always gonna be welcome. I guess if you left to you get friends, away from the law. We don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well. We won't insult you any further. <laughs> Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? <laughs> Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Breaking in horses. That was actually a good moment because I guess that is what the mentality was like in, and I guess what that's what the mentality is still this, like in America. That you guys are kind of iffy about like you're you'd rather be controlled by the state than right. the, the federal the government, and I guess Let's that's true because the federal government horses. like doesn't just control uh, like the state area, like they control. What are you like, waiting the Those entire northern continent. Right well, not at this point in time, but like now, today. Um, How are you today? You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret that sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? But I know we're ride? only as free as they say we are. It's <laughs> like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Well, 
You guys are gonna have to wait at least 200. Maybe a little bit more. Jeez. There they are! Let's get after them! Rope one of them for me, Marston! Let's go! Easy now! You gonna use that rope or not? Fucking horse! Let's see it, boy! You'll have this in your Relax time. now! Nearly there! Oh Get shit! Three times of guessing. Whoa! Relax now. Holy shit! Calm down, you fucking idiot. Come on! Come on! I don't go. like horses. On, I really don't like horses in real life. They scare the shit out of me. This right. giant fucking animal with muscles, like a fucking mastodon, kicking and screaming and weeing. So many folks in trouble. Yeah, that's it's true. Not spirit and make you poor, but it's straight and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. <laughs> Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Some Who deck must be shy of Joker. Such a natural in Weston Broncos. That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Get up! Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. If you want to breed the horses, though, how do you make sure that the horse, that the new horses you bring in, get along with the old horses? You never did tell me why you were never married, aside from the snobbery that is. You sure asked a lot. I'm just surprised. That's all. You must have been quite a catch. Come on. Well, she's only 27. In many she ways, still have time. my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. How'd you meet her? She was an orphan, too. Fell in the same bunch of reprobates I did. She did what she had to do to survive, same as I did. You can't wallow with the pigs without getting a little dirty. She's a good woman, a strong woman. That gang was the closest thing to family she ever had. Well, now she has her own family. Not right now, she doesn't. 
Unless, like, the government asshole has already killed We've both her and the kid. Up like bales of hay. Well, you might as well strike while the iron's hot. I think I'm getting the hang of it. There's too many folks too careless with their irons around here. That's the problem. We do all the work, and the rustlers get fat off of it. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead. All right. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. All right. Oh, this is a cool image. Five of us. Spearheaded by Bonnie. Starting to take to the gameplay of this game. Like I liked it all all along, but like actually I'm starting to like get used to it. I like, stay with the horses. I'll give you a signal when we're ready for them. Right you are, miss. Guide the herd toward the canyon. No 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 no. Screw you. Fuck, two of them are running off. Let's go. You get back to the herd now. To the herd now, you fucking asshole. Go. Go. Relax now! Nearly there! Easy there! 
All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Almost got you. Whoa! Relax now. Come on. Come on. Of course, the stallion wouldn't want to come. Relax now. All right. Let's go. Get back to Bonnie. Come on, easy up now. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know. Why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. All right, we got our own horse. We broke ourselves. Horses hurt at plus six. Go! Plus 150 honor. Let's, um... Map. Uh, let's get back to Bonnie. What is you can learn? How much money do I have now? It's seventy eight. Okay. These people are too nice, they're gonna get killed. This is a Rockstar game. <laughs> okay. Thanks for putting me in that situation, guy. I didn't even have my gun. And I forgot how to change weapons. <laughs> God damn it. I hope I don't have to do the horse breaking again. All right. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. Oh, no, my hose is still here. Okay. Let's okay. go. Maybe we should do this actually. Come back tomorrow between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. Uh, we could go to the marshal. Spare the rot, spoil the bandit. Let's do the marshal. Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not sure. Particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission, but right now I need another gun. Why? What's happening? You've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All sure. Right. All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's going to be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. That's not good. That's not something to be proud of, John. Oh, no. 
Oh no, that's gonna be a problem. Hey, wait up! That's gonna be a problem. Come on. All right. All right, boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouth Funko artist I've never met. Look, vultures. Oh, shit. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Come on, back in the saddle, boy. Come on. I want to be right faster over there. Survivors here, Marshal. They even killed a pregnant Man, woman. Look too good. Holy shit. Somebody was so busy killing people they went and dropped their gun. <laughs> Holy shit, they even killed a pregnant woman. Holy shit, these people are assholes. Come on. Yeah, Winchester repeater is fine. Let's stay on this road. Okay, Get they the need to die. Like What the fuck? What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Poor vultures! This don't look so good! We best take a look, boys. Oh, boy. They're just murdering from place to place. They're like high on blood. Holy shit, they're just high on plot loss right now. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Holy shit. Come on, let's ride. They kind of got too far. Sons of bitches! Didn't you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and Stevens never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. This place looks deserted. Where is everyone? <laughs> Let's search the area. Search the outhouse and shed. Alright. Shed's clear, Marshal! Check the outhouse. Outhouse. Some guy probably shat himself in there. Oh, there's a kid in there. No one here. No. Oh, no. God fucking damn it! It's gonna be a shootout at the barn, isn't it? Oh, they're gonna set fire to it while we're in there. That ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Holy shit. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. 
Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> This has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. What the fuck? I hope you got money for a funeral. I see him. Okay. Show me what you got. This is my head, partner. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. What the? Just a second. I mean, I need medicine. Holy foxicles. Holy fucks it is, okay. Holy shit! What the hell? God damn it. Get the... The wall ram, oh good. Sorry about this, partner. Alright. Up we go upstairs. Where was the stairs? Gonna have ourselves. Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Okay. Last guy. Come on, you There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Holy shit, they just fucking killed everything they could. That was just like a that was like an orc style blood rush. What the fuck? What exactly were we supposed to do? We didn't know about it till now. Do you think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Thanks, Holy Sam, shit, Williamson. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. 
What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. The bear... Is that somebody mind. on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Holy shit. You're ready, boys. Here they come. It's called a repeater because I keep shooting, bitch. Goddamn rapist! Look out! Here comes some more of them bastards. Fuck you shooting from the side now. There we go. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> Norman Deke. Fuck. <laughs> nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck <laughs> you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. <laughs> Alright, as far as he doesn't die on the way there, I guess. Alright. Time to loot some corpses. My apologies, mister. No apologies here. Honor Honest Joe. So I'm at the first tier of owner. Oh, what did what am I doing? Oh, the horse. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought it was <laughs> what was looting the freaking thing. Apparently it wasn't. That was <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Just a little bit of money, boys. Nothing personal. Oh, well, actually, this one. This one was personal. Fucking rapists. You think you could go ahead just killing people for fun, raping people? Hello. Nope. Nope. Not on my watch. Alright. Was that all of them? I reckon it might have been my last. Yeah, okay. 
So, thank you for watching this episode of Rank Place. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope John X have more shenanigans. Until then, bye.